Have you ever wondered if your pillow affects how well you sleep? Recently, I had a question about pillows and how they affect bone health. So today, we're going to have a look at why sleep is important for osteoporosis and how different pillows affect the health of our spines and potentially our bone health. Hello, my friends. I'm Sarah, and I'm a certified nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'm also a 500-hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific for osteoporosis and yoga. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor, and I'm pleased to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. Let's begin today by looking at why sleep is important for bone health, and after that, we'll get to our pillow talk. Getting both good quality sleep and enough sleep are essential for our health overall because sleep is a time for our bodies to repair themselves. In looking specifically at bone health, sleep is a time for our bodies to engage in the bone remodeling process where our bodies both build new bone and break down old bone. Studies show that ongoing sleep deprivation has a negative effect on our bone health. Women who regularly get less than five hours of sleep tend to have lower bone mineral density in both their hips and their spine. In a study that's titled Night Shift Work and Fracture Risk, the Nurses Health Study, the night shift work of nurses is compared to nurses who've never worked the night shift. And the study found that nurses who had 20 or more years of rotating night shift work had a 37% increased risk for hip and wrist fractures compared to nurses who'd never worked the night shift. The risk was even higher for women who had normal body mass index and who'd never participated in hormone replacement therapy. Why does this happen? Night shift work creates a disruption of our circadian rhythm. In other words, there's a mismatch between our body's internal biological clock and our external environment. Our bone cells have their own internal clock that tends to match our natural circadian rhythm. The National Institutes of Health recommend that adults get between seven and eight hours of sleep per night. One third of adults regularly get less than this, which has the potential to negatively affect their bone health. In 2003, the National Sleep Foundation survey found that people with osteoporosis were 67% more likely to regularly get less than six hours of sleep each night. In addition to interfering with the bone remodeling process, a lack of sleep can also raise our cortisol levels. When cortisol is elevated, it causes calcium and other minerals to leach out of our bones, which can contribute to further bone loss, which we don't want. Lack of sleep can also increase inflammation in our bodies, and increased inflammation actually contributes to higher levels of bone breakdown. Lowering inflammation in our bodies can actually help to lower our risk of all chronic diseases, including osteoporosis. Like most things related to health, it's important to get the right amount of sleep. Getting too much sleep can also have a negative impact on our bone health. When a person regularly gets more than eight hours of sleep, it increases the person's risk for developing osteoporosis by 22%. So now that we have a handle on why sleep is important for bone health, how does our pillow choice affect our sleep? Are some pillows better for us than other pillows? And do some pillows affect the health of our spines differently from others? Choosing the right pillow can actually help to keep your neck aligned with the rest of your spine in a neutral position while you sleep, and this in turn can help to support your bone health. If a pillow is too high or too low, it can bring your head out of alignment and cause muscle strain in your neck, back, and in your shoulders. Different pillows are going to work better for different sleeping positions. So let's have a look at different sleeping positions and pillows that can best support them. In any position that we choose to sleep in, we wanna keep our spines in a relatively neutral position. This means that your ear is aligned with your hip. In this picture, do you see how there's a line that runs through the side of your body? 
When your body aligns in this way, it provides the best support for your spine. This is something that we want to support while we sleep for better bone health. With the desire to keep our spines in neutral, it's helpful to avoid sleeping in a fetal position where our spines are curled around our bodies since it does not support a neutral position for the spine. The fetal position also puts strain on the spine in ways that do not support bone health. If you're a back sleeper, look for a pillow that cradles your head. You may find a foam pillow a good choice here because foam pillows retain their shape fairly well and you can also find a pillow that's not too thick, which will help to keep your neck fairly straight. You may also find it helpful to put another pillow underneath your knees. This can help to relieve tension in your spine. When I teach yoga classes and it's time for our final relaxation, I actually offer the option to place a bolster underneath the knees, and this helps to create the same effect of relieving tension in the spine. If you're a side sleeper, you'll likely find it helpful to have a thicker pillow to keep your head well supported and in alignment with the rest of your body. Keep thinking about the plumb line of your body here. You may also want to have a second pillow or a long body pillow to support your body in a side sleeping position. Experiment with placing a second pillow or a long body pillow between your knees and your ankles. This will help to keep your hips level. And if you're sleeping in a bed by yourself, you might even find that you like having a long body pillow behind you to support your back from behind. If you're a tummy sleeper, choose a really thin pillow, possibly one that scrunches since your face is really close to your mattress. In this position, your head is also turned to one side. If you move around in your sleep, it's helpful to make sure that you spend some time with your head turned in both directions to avoid putting stress on your neck and your spine. Or maybe you're a hybrid sleeper like me. I tend to sleep sort of on my side with one leg up. I think I started doing this when I was actually pregnant with babies many, many years ago, but it stuck. And so I tend to use a pillow to prop up the leg that's out in front of me. I use a pillow that's on the thinner side and then I switch to my other side periodically throughout the night. However you find it comfortable to sleep at night, find pillows that help you to keep your spine in as neutral a position as you can. In addition to good quality pillows, here's a list of some other ways that you can work on improving your sleep at night. Avoid caffeine for four to six hours before bedtime. Create a bedtime ritual or a habit around settling in for the evening. Remove work from your bedroom and keep your bedroom as a place for sleeping in intimacy. Make your room relatively cool, just under 70 degrees. Make your bedroom dark for sleeping. Stop using electronics about an hour before bedtime and try and go to bed at about the same time each night. And also, if you can't sleep, try some gentle stretching. Stretching helps to raise the serotonin levels in our bodies, and it can contribute to creating even emotions and having a feeling that's relatively peaceful. And those feelings can help you to get a better night's sleep. And if you're laying in bed and find that you can't sleep, try getting up and walking around and doing some sort of quiet activity that you can do in low light. Don't watch TV. When I can't sleep at night, I tend to get up and fold laundry in low light. After doing this for a little while, I find that I can usually feel sleepy again and then fall back to sleep. I hope that these suggestions help you to improve your sleep and your bone health. Better sleep contributes to having less bone breakdown, more bone growth, less inflammation, less cortisol, and better health overall. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love. And if you'd like to explore these topics further, there are actually quite a few resources that are listed in the description for this video. And on that note, I look forward to speaking with you soon.